All right, everybody, welcome back to the world of Raid Shadow Legends. Today, fellas, we are going to be doing a Soul Stone opening video. As you can see, I got a lot of soul. I got 104 mortal soul stones, 39 immortal soul stones, and one big, fat, juicy, eternal soul stone to pop open, fellas. But before we do all this, guys, if you're not a subscriber yet, if you just stumbled upon my channel because you like Raid, Make sure you guys smack that like button. And if you want to get in on Raid and play this game, it's one of the best mobile games out there, fellas. Be sure to scan the QR code right on your screen or click the link down in the description. It all helps me out. And believe me, I appreciate all the support, fellas. So let's get into the video. Be sure to drop a like if you're enjoying it. Let's get into the video, fellas. We are going to open up some soul stones because we are on the hunt for the leprechaun, the path of the clover. We are trying to get this guaranteed champion here, Podrig, from the Sylvan Watchers faction. I mean, look at this guy's beard, dude. He's got four leaf clovers growing all in the beard. Are you kidding me? And what's in this jug? That's what I want to know. What kind of potion you got in there, son? Ooh, he got a couple of potions on him. I mean, this dude's fit looks pretty damn cool for a Sylvan Watcher. I love the clovers. And with St. Patrick's Day just passing by, man, this guy is just... Mm, He's living in the moment. Let's let's check out the kit real quick. Uh, so Snake Root on the A1 attacks one enemy. Has 25% chance of decreasing the cooldown of a random ally's active skill by two turns. Books up to 50%. Not a bad A1 at all. On the A2, he's got ally attack. And he also fully restores uh, destroyed max HP for your allies. And places a 15% continuous heal buff. This guy's looking like a real good Hydra champion. Uh, and, but let's look at the A3, fellas. Fills the turn meter of all allies by 20%. A full team cleanse. Removes all debuffs from all allies. Then places a whopping 30% increased speed for two turns. And it books down to a three-turn cooldown on the A3. Oh, my goodness. But it gets even better, guys. Check out this passive. Grand Oaks Magic Passive. At the start of this champion's turn, places a buff on each ally for one turn, depending on their type. What? So, when this guy gets a turn, all the squad is going to get, if they're an attack-based champion, a 50% increased attack buff. Uh, if they're a defensive champion, a 60% increased defense. Support gets 50% accuracy. And if they're HP, you're getting a buff equal to 30%, a shield buff equal to 30% of the ally's max HP. Wow. 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 And then you've got the aura, which is increased speed in dungeon by 25%. Oh, my goodness. It would be better if it was increased speed in all battles, but whatever, man. This guy's kit is fantastic. It's pretty unique, and it's pretty fun, and I'm all in. I'm all in for Grand Oak Podrig, and you guys don't even want to know what I had to do to unlock all this stuff. Basically, I was pulling the green mystery shards let me show you guys. See these mystery shards right here? I'm down to like 1,600. I used to have like a lot more. <laughs> I was pulling those things like crazy. And I eventually said, you know what? Let's just go for the soul stones. Uh, because, yeah, to get points for this guy, you either had to, yeah, have shards or soul stones. I'm an end game account. So I'm going to go the soul stone route. But you guys do whatever you want to do. We're going to go with the soul stone. So here we go, fellas. Let's pop these bad boys open. So we got 104 soul stones. Let's go. Let's roll them. Let's roll them. We looking for the big fat six star soul stones. A lot of blue on the board so far. We want to see some gold. And yeah. But we got a thousand uh, coins for a Grand Oak Padre. We're going to keep on rolling. Nothing really interesting on that first 10 pack. Oh my goodness. No. A whole lot of nothing going on. Oh, here we go. We got some gold. Oh, I swear to God, man. Two Hana Rock. I want this champion so bad. But it seems like every time I get a gold soul stone, fellas, it's of a champion I don't have. And I've got a pretty advanced account. <laughs> you know what I mean? I still don't have two Hana Rock, though. She has been avoiding me big time. She is just not interested. But eventually, she will be mine. Eventually, I will get her. She is an amazing Hydra champion. And is easily one of my most wanted. I'm going to keep on rolling here. A whole lot of blue. Ugh. We got this guy, Karam. I don't think I've ever used him. 
I did pull him, but he's been sitting in my vault pretty much since the dawn of time. Uh, I don't know. Am I missing out on Karam, fellas? Any of you guys use him? Let me know. I'm going to keep on rolling here. No, not interested. Grunch is a cool champion, but I never really use him. Oh, Astrolith. Okay, I do have that champion. I think I have a soul for him already, though. This guy, you could do a lot of funky stuff with this guy in Arena. I'm finding out painfully when I go play live. Yeah, this guy might not look like much, but trust me, he can wreck shop. And uh, I can't, I can't pull anymore. I need to create space. Um, yeah, let's buy more space. And let's keep pulling. Let's keep. Oh, gold right off the bat, boys. Oh my God, Vitreous. Oh, another gold. I already have this guy. All right, I have a six star of this guy, but not the champion. I already have Bur Oh, I got to take this guy off my wish list. Um, all right, how much is it to buy? 300,000? How much do I have? Oh, I got 22 million? Yeah, we good. We good. We balling. We balling. All right, let's keep rolling, fellas. Nothing yet. Oh, these soul stones I'm getting here, nothing major that's going to help my account. Baroth again? Oh, we got gold. Oh, <laughs> Gruda. Oh, Gerda Bogbrew. She's another champ I got, but, but it's been sitting in my vault ever since. I think she was a fusion. Was she a fusion? I can't remember. Um, We did get the five-star Runic Warder, though. Back in the day, this guy was the MVP. But I don't really use him that much anymore. Uh, you know what, fellas? Let me go make some room, because I don't want to waste my... I don't want to blow through my stack here just on slots. So let me do a cleanse real quick, and I'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, guys, we're back. Let's... We got 44 Mortal Soul Stones left to do. So let's do four real quick ones. Then we'll go back to the 10 rips. And what do we got here? Preserver. Keep rolling. Not what we're looking for, fellas. We're looking for the big, fat five or preferably six-star souls. Aox, this guy is an amazing epic. I absolutely love him. Very helpful in pretty much everywhere in the game. If you pull him, definitely utilize him. Build him up. You won't regret it. Gator. <laughs> All right. Let's pull one more. Get us to 40. And more blue. Mm. Harvester. Whatever. All right. Uh, ooh. Collect that. All right, fellas. Let's get back to the 10 rips. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, six-star Sifi. Oh, we got some gold. Okay, Ancora. Ancora. Not bad. The fusion. Oh. We've got a mythical, which I will never get. I still don't have any mythicals, fellas. How about you guys? You guys got... Well, I do have Makagi. But, I mean, I've never actually pulled a mythical yet. Very, very hard to come by. I see accounts that have, like, every single mythical in the game. Holy crap, man. What are you guys doing with your lives? Those guys must be like oil sheiks or something. And Alika, Stout Axeman. Ugh, nothing good here. Magnar is an absolute unit in Arena. Um, all right, let's keep pulling. What else? Allure, an awesome epic. This guy, I kept him another awesome epic. I think I already have a four-star soul for him, though, so nothing useful here for me. Another mythical. Oh, we got Frolini. I think this guy's the worst mythical. Is he the worst mythical? I don't know. Like I said, I don't have any. I keep hearing he's the worst one, though. I don't know. Any of you guys have him? Is he any good? Let me know. Fill me in, fellas. Shoot me straight. Oh, another mythical. My God. Oh, alas. This guy looks like an absolute tank. Another mythical soul. Oh, my goodness. Galathir? <laughs> this game wants me to buy mythical. This game wants me to whale on mythicals so bad. The way they be dropping these mythical souls, dude. Oh, uh, all right. Okay, that's it for Mortal Soul Stones, fellas. I'm going to do another cleanse. Then we'll be back for the Immortal Soul Stones. More moments later. All right, fellas, we're back. We just blew through 100 Mortal Soul Stones, and I mean. Really nothing that can help my account. Isn't that crazy? A hundred mortal soul stones. And pretty much absolutely nothing I could use. <laughs> Hopefully the immortal soul stones will be a little more uh, helpful for the account here. So let's do... Let's pull three to get us to an even 40. Then we'll do the 10 rips. So here we go. 
The big immortal soul stones. What do we got? Oh, we got blue right off the bat. Don't care. Hatchet, slinger. I don't think I've ever used him. Another. Oh, we got some purple. Who is it? Okay. This guy's definitely good. I might be able to use that. Let's roll another one. And we got more perp. Ooh, light sworn. Okay. I, this guy is good. And he's on my wish list. Okay, hold on, hold on. What can we... Oh, hold on. First of all, let's buff up Ancora. Let's buff her up. All right, so actually, I lied. We could use the Ancora, the White Queen Ancora soul. And for all you guys wondering, the blessing I have on her is Life Harvest. I mean, you can't really go wrong with these blessings, fellas. I just... I really like, like Life Harvest on her. You could use Intimidating Presence or... Pretty much anything. I don't. I don't really know what the exact best soul is to use here. Um, who else can we awaken? Can we awaken anyone else? Is that it? Uh, okay. I guess we can't use any of those souls I pulled. I must already have them. Anyway, all right. Here we go. Let's do the ten rip of the immortal soul stones and hope we get something huge. Marksman. Ugh. Broad. Oh, we got some gold. Who is it? Oh my god, Lugan! Oh, we got more gold. Shiramani? Dude, this game is trolling me hard, man. Oh, come on. This game's trolling me so hard. I mean, Lugan is alright, and Shiramani's alright too. But they're not meta. You know what I'm saying, fellas? Like, if you guys pull one of these champions, I mean, it's gonna help your account. Lugan is an amazing support champion, and so is Shiramani. But it's just they're just not meta. I'm looking for meta soul stones. You know what I'm saying, fellas? We want the meta, damn it. Let's go. Let's do another 10 rip. Oh, another mythical right off the bat. Who the heck is this guy? Gizmac? Oh, we got some gold. No, not Gorda again. Oh, more gold. Come on. Yes, Blade Master. Okay, okay. A three star for Blade Master. A three star for Alaz. And Rear Guard Sergeant. I haven't used her in a long time, but yeah. This is a good pull right here, fellas. I do have Blade Master. A three-star soul for him. Very nice. Um, nothing else here I could really use. I wish I had Gizmak and Alaz, but Alaz, I don't. <laughs> I don't have any of these guys. All right, let's keep pulling. I think this is our last 10 rip. Let's make it a good one. Come on, man. Still no six-star. Oh, my God, the Mythicals. Ooh, a six-star Siegfried that I'll probably never get. No, share body again. Yes! Oh, I already have a three-star harem. Oh, another piece of gold. What do we got? Oh, damn! It's raining gold, son! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Wow, this was a great pull. Look at this pull, boys. Look at this ten rip. <laughs> We've got one, two... We got four Legos and a six-star Siegfried. Yo, they just buffed this guy, too. All right. I Hopefully, I'm going to pull a mythical one day, guys, and hopefully, it's going to be Siegfried. Oh, we still have another ten. That wasn't our last one. I'm pretty sure this is our final 10 rip of Immortals. So let's make it a good one. Uh, I could definitely use this guy. <laughs> this is the best pull I've gotten from this whole entire thing so far. Let's do another 10 rip. Man, that was a lot of gold on that one, fellas. A lot of gold. What do we got here? Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Another Roche? Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, a four-star Narcisse. That was Lugan, not Roche. I got him confused. A four-star Narcisse. A four freaking star Narcisse. Oh my god. If you guys watched my last video, you know how much I love Narcisse. So, this is a great pull right here. I'm happy. I'm extremely happy with Narcisse. I mean, if, if the only thing I got out of this whole thing was Narcisse, I'd be happy. But we got we got some pretty good... Oh. We got some pretty good uh, soul stones here. And it looks like we're going to be able to pull... Holy crap. Oh, let me go to the Mystic Market. It looks like we're going to be able to pull two eternal soul stones here, fellas. Two eternal soul stones, and did we get the guaranteed? Because this is why we even did this entire thing to pull this guy. Oh, yes. Look, Booker T would say, fellas, oh, yes. We got 76,000 of these uh, clover coins, and we need 60,000 for the guarantee. So we already pulled Podrig, which I'm excited about. And I might even have enough left over to go after the. Oh, no, I have to get the key on this side, too. Damn it. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to go after this guy's 
Well, I might pull him with the Soul Stones. Who knows? I would love to grab his perfect soul, uh, too. I'd probably use the hourglass thing as his blessing. Temporal chains. Um, okay. Let's see what we got here. We have two eternal soul stones, fellas. Let's see what we get. Uh, do I have enough money? Yeah, I do. All right. Let's go. What's it going to be? Let's go. Yo, we got gold. We got gold. Oh, a five-star Bad El Kazar. This was my first Lego that I got on my account, guys. My first legendary champion that I got. I think I already had a good blessing for him. But a five-star. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I had him in a four-star. So this will kick him up a notch. We're going to kick Bad L up a notch, fellas. Let's go. A five-star soul for Bad El Kazar. I'll take it. And what blessing do we have on him? You might be wondering. Iron Will? I think I might have to change this because they did they did a switch up with the blessings. I think I think I might have to change this, fellas. I'll uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, but all you guys who have Bad El Kazar, what what blessing are you using with them after the blessing rebalance? Let me know. But this was the first Lego I got on my account, guys, and he completely, completely <laughs> changed my account. Like he took me to places I could never go in this game. Bad L, I love you, baby. No matter how many Legos I get, no, no matter how many Legos you get in this game, you always remember your first one. Bad L Kazar was my first. What was your first legendary champion, fellas? Drop down in the comment section. Anyway, here we go, guys. We got one more Eternal Soul Stone to pop, and then we going after that Podrick, that guaranteed champion. The best time to do anything in this game is when there's a guaranteed event. That way, you're not wasting your resources. So let's pop this last Eternal Soul Stone open, and then we'll head back to the Clover event and see what we got. And, oh, it's purple. Oh, Soul Drinker. A perfect. Ooh, wait a minute. One, two, three. More to McCabe's cousin over here, Soul Drinker. A six star. Uh, How close are we? Oh, wait a minute. You know what? You know what, guys? We're going to. What can we get for that? What can we get for that? Where is he? Oh, I already have. Do I even have him? Oh, yeah, I've got him in a four-star already. Uh, wow. Yeah, let's... Let's burn this, guys. We're gonna we're gonna burn these. I never I never use them. I don't think a six-star is gonna... That'll give me a hundred. What'll this give me? 480? Yeah, we're gonna recycle him. We're gonna recycle him, try and get something better, guys. I just never use him. I don't want a six-star soul for a champion I'm never gonna use. You know what I mean? That that just doesn't make any sense. Let's go to the market. Let's buy another soul stone. A six-star Seafy or a Duchess wouldn't be bad. Uh, just throwing that out there, game. All right, let's try and roll for something better than a... Uh, Mort not Mortu. Soul Drinker. <laughs> what the heck? I keep confusing them with Mortu. They, they look pretty much exactly the same. All right, anyway, let's roll it. Let's go. Come on, give me some gold, baby. No! More purple? Who is it, though? Okay, okay, Taragi. I like this guy. This is not bad. A five-star blessing for Taragi. Did I already have a five? I already had a five-star for him. All right. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'll wind up burning that too, probably. Anyway. All right, guys, the soul event is over, and by far the biggest thing we've gotten was the four-star blessing for White King Narcisse. Oh, my goodness. Took him to a four-star blessing. This guy's an absolute unit. I'm going to have to do a video just dedicated to him. And I've got Soul Reap on him, fellas. And the four-star blessing took us to 38% crit damage and more defense. Oh, baby. 38% <laughs> more crit damage than he was already doing? If you guys saw the last video, he was mopping comps. And now he's going to be doing it even better. Wow. Okay. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, fellas. Let's see what we got for the Path of the Clover. Damn, we've got 99,240 Clover points? Maybe I'll get that uh, blessing after all. Holy crap. So we've got way more than what we need for the guaranteed champion. So Padre, come on in. Oh, I wish it did the, the animation where you get the champion. But we claim Padre, and we've got 39,000 Clover points left over. Oh, that might be enough to get the frags for our mans. So, unfortunately, guys, 
because there's a key blocking us. We can't go for the – so we have to come on this side. Yeah, we have to go down this path. So let's spend some clover coins here. Completely useless skill tome to me. Let's pick up these festival points, which are very useful. We're going to ignore that for now. I could always farm that in Sand Devil, the Chaos Dust or whatever that's called. Let's grab some energy. Energy is always nice. We'll grab another 80 points here for the festival points. Uh, what's this? A five-star chicken? Ooh, those are always nice. And we're going to pick up another 25 frags for the fusion for our mans. And, of course, the key. Okay. And that's as far as I'm going down here. I'd rather have this perfect soul than this book, but I doubt I'm going to be able to get it. Let's unlock this path. So there you go. So I need 60,000 more points. Well, not exactly, but for probably 50, 47,000 more points for this blessing here, which I don't know if I'm going to get to, fellas, to be honest. I think I'm pretty tapped out on resources, but... Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Soul Stone vid uh, video. And, yeah, man, we got a brand new shiny champion, Podrig, on the account. Looking forward to using him. Where is he? There he is, Podrig. Oh, yeah. All right, if you guys want me to do a video on how I geared him, let me feel you down in the comment section. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.